Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing well. And let's quickly cover Zillcoin, Zilliqa. It's uh, down to about 16 cents. And uh, yeah, I mean, I told you in the you know three hourly time frame that if we break this uh, support line, you are gonna get a drop, you know, so and that exactly what happened. And this was a confirmation. You know, as soon as you close this candle over here below these uh, support lines, you can see what happened. The price came down. OK, and if you are aware that uh, we were above the 20 moving average and we came below, you can see now the price is uh, 20 moving average is acting as a resistance to the price. OK, now you could easily go to the four hourly time frame and also see that the 20 moving average is acting as a resistance point to the price. OK, now it depends on if we can break and come up. Uh, that would be good, but in the short term, I believe. Uh, now, if you go in the three hourly time frame, you can look at this easily. Uh, when we broke out of here, you were creating something of a bearish pattern. Okay, I can show you the bearish pattern. It was something like this. Okay, a symmetrical triangle, and within this symmetrical triangle, you were making a bearish pattern. You were making this uh, left shoulder, the head, and this. Uh, very small little uh, right shoulder okay if you take another uh, trend line you can just draw it right over here you can see we were never able to break this area of uh, resistance so we did try to come out but this was a fake out people over here they sold it and the price started coming down okay so now whenever it came down you had a price target it was from the top to the bottom this is how you can see after the breakout happened uh, you can see exactly we came in met this area of support okay now if you take this in, uh, into consideration you could also bring your fibonacci level and measure this move from the top to the bottom and you can see if you measure this move right over here you can see again uh, we can see the 1.414 came in as a support uh, for uh, Zilliqa coin and we came in over here and now we have a little bit of a little bit of a you know maybe a recovery going on but again the 20 moving average is coming in as a very strong resistance um, and um, might move the price a little bit down but we are going to have a little bit of a, maybe a consolidation phase uh, going on because you can see exactly the momentum of the coin has been dropping okay and uh, before Zilliqa average volume on Binance was about 4 billion to 5 billion, even 6 billion sometimes. Now it's only at about 1.4 billion, 1.40 billion. Okay, so the volume is also dropping at the moment. Maybe uh, everybody's waiting on to find its uh, bottom, you know. And you can easily just, you know, if you look at this pattern now, okay, we have already broken this, so I'm just going to take this off. Hide the EMAs and uh, go in the three hourly. Yeah, now you could just do this. We can see we found some support over here. Okay, I'll just bring this line and just place it over here because I can see that this has been uh, an area of support for the coin. And I can also see some resistance levels for Zilliqa right over here. Okay, so now right over here is I think going to be good. Because I think the strong, uh, uh, if you go in the four hourly, now in the daily, yeah, the next strong support point for Zeleka is the, at this area, 13764. Okay, if you go in the um, uh, weekly time frame, you can easily see that after we had this breakout, okay, we went towards the downside. Uh, okay, let me just put it this way, okay, this was the high. This was the low, this was the high. Okay, so it's gonna come in in this area of I what I believe. I can be wrong. It might find a low before. Uh, so, uh, but I think this is one of the strongest points where it can fell back to. Okay, now let's go to the three hourly time frame, and I believe it's making this uh, falling wedge formation where the price is just gonna be acting, uh, you know, in this manner maybe come over here find support go up find resistance over here uh, come down go back up come down until unless you have a break from this resistance line if it plays like this 
I mean, I'm a genius, I guess, but let's see what happens. And um, just, uh, you know, in the four hourly time frame, let me see, you could also, uh, if you bring the EMAs, you were also seeing this bearish divergence in place. So this dump was already coming, okay, after it made its all time high to 23 to 25 cents, I believe. Okay, yeah, 25 cents, no, 23 cents, yeah. So you can see this bearish divergence the momentum was dropping meanwhile the price kept on going towards the upside look at this okay so the momentum was already dropping and now it's just a time where it's going to find its bottom and you could also bring this put it over here and in the rsi oops let me show you okay, and you could also bring a support line right over here at the moment it is finding a support what at this point you can see in the RSI the price is just going up down up down and probably gonna go up find some resistance somewhere and then come down okay until or unless you come back and maybe you know find some support in these or the 55 moving average or the 100 moving average either or okay but I believe it is gonna fall down in this wedge formation if it breaks the support it will come and just test the 55 moving average okay keep this in your mind if it plays in this wedge then that uh, you should know accordingly where the resistance and the support areas are okay but okay guys this is it for um zillcoin i hope this brought you some new information and some knowledge if you like if you're liking this kind of uh, zill videos hit the like button so i'll keep on making these kind of videos and uh, subscribe to my channel guys okay all right, guys. Bye-bye.